day. My name is Jason Winters. I've been asked to speak to you today about the cleaning and storage of the 3M multi-use respirator following a patient contact. The respirator, once assembled, does not need to be disassembled at any point except to replace cartridges which should occur as needed. We will begin with the mask on the person, sanitize our hands, remove the mask from the face, and then decon the mask in a slow, meticulous process. Once deconned, we allow it to air dry and then properly store. So let's begin. We begin with hand sanitation on obviously non-visibly soiled gloves with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. We begin by removing the uh, neck strap of the respirator and then slowly lifting the respirator off of our face, making sure not to contaminate our uniform at this point. We then retrieve a sanitation wipe, make sure it is not overly damp, and we take the respirator by one of the cartridges in our hands and begin the sanitation process. We start with sanitation of one of the cartridges, move on to the straps, and return to the areas that we did not previously reach, making sure not to continue to cross-contaminate our surfaces. At this point, we want to make sure that we have struck all outer surfaces of the mask and other and single cartridge. We then transition over to wiping down the second cartridge. And it is important to remember that, it, that you do not need to sanitize the inside of your mask. In fact, the inside of your mask should not be touched at any point. We then discard our wipes as well as our gloves and allow the mask to air dry. As you can see, the deconning of the mask was actually very simple. We start by, again, deconning our hands, removing the mask, and maintaining control of it with one hand while we clean, uh, sanitize it with our wipes. At this point, we allow the mask to air dry and then place it back in its storage container, ready for the next call. Thank you. I have been Jason Winters, and I hope you uh, continue to stay safe with the 3M multi-use respirator.